Here I am at it again, and today I am going to be looking at some notation software. Now, the music that you just heard me playing at the beginning is a variation on uh, a musical scale uh, that I've been practicing for some time, which is the G major or E minor scale in the uh, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian modes. Now, I probably lost half of you in saying that, but that's neither here nor there. This is software for those of you who uh, are maybe learning how to play uh, guitar or are interested in scoring your own music. Uh, these applications that I'm going to be uh, showing today may be of use to you. And the first application that I have uh, over here on the screen is... Tux Guitar. And uh, this is a general purpose uh, music writing software. You have uh, all the tools readily available for uh, writing your own sheet music. Now, uh, all of these tools that you're seeing on the screen, I actually haven't written anything on any of these yet, so I'm not going to be doing any tutorials or showing the actual software uh, in use other than uh, just demonstrating what I use them for, and that is simply just playing guitar tablature uh, that is provided from um, the musical courses that I'm taking. And one of them that I'm taking, this uh, this particular exercise that I'm showing in all of them, is uh, from a metal method course that I'm taking right now, which is uh, pretty much taking this, uh, taking this old troll here uh, to get back to guitar school so I can finally learn how to shred. Well, not quite there yet. But, hey, this is really fun because now I'm playing guitar in ways that I've never been able to do so before. So, this is awesome sauce indeed. Alright, so Tux Guitar allows me to do that very thing. Let me go ahead and turn up some desktop audio. And basically what this is using is a form of MIDI software. And basically allows you to play back the musical scales so that you can hear what the music sounds like before you can uh, play it. And the way guitar tablature works is, uh, below the uh, treble clef, you have a bar with numbers. And this basically gives you the uh, fingering uh, for how to play them. Because on a guitar, unlike a uh, piano uh, keyboard, there's only one place to play each note on the piano keyboard, so in reading a piece of sheet music, you would know where to place your finger. But that is not the case on the guitar because uh, because of the six strings that you have here. You can play the same note at the same pitch, just playing the note in a different place on the fretboard. This is where uh, guitar notation, or what we call tablature comes in handy because this gives you the ability to visualize the best way to play it or visualize the most efficient way of uh, playing the sheet music uh, on the guitar while still following the speed that is defined in the notes. So at any rate, Tux Guitar is a nice convenient little tool here where you can drag and drop the notes that you want and you can use it for scoring. But again, I just use this just for 
um, reading and playing back uh, notation. And uh, you can speed up and slow down uh, when you're practicing and that sort of thing to uh, improve your efficiency. Okay, and then the next uh, notation software is ideal for all musicians. And this one is called MuseScore. Now, MuseScore uh, does have the guitar mode, which I found very interesting. And by the way, all of the software that I'm showing in today's uh, video will pretty much open up most popular guitar tablature formats. And uh, now, to I haven't been able to put all of that to the test, uh, but to varying degrees, these should also be able to play other uh, other uh, no forms of notation that are available out there. All right, so this one with MuseScore, when you open it, you have the uh, you have the music in standard notation here. And then, of course, you have an option to switch tabs so that you can see the guitar notation here, which is really nice. And, of course, this has a player as well. So you can play all the notes to listen to the music first before you go and play it. And, of course, like all the others, this will allow you to uh, change speed and that sort of thing. So this one is MuseScore. Let me uh, stop this thing now. All right. And then uh, let's uh, have a look at another one. Now, uh, this software here uh, is from the, uh, from the um, ToneLib uh, library. And uh, in our last video, I looked at their uh, ToneLib GFX. Well, this is their guitar notation software, and uh, this is similar to the uh, other to the uh, other um, softwares that we had a look at. Um, you can play a uh, notation, and it also has its own editor as well. When you switch uh, modes here, and then you can add your notes and you can work your way through the entire musical score. I'm really not particularly fond of this layout, but I thought I would give it an honorable mention because I really love ToneLib GFX, and uh, that software is <laughs> wicked. <laughs> what can I say? Awesome electric guitar software. Uh, but uh, I, I tried it. Wasn't too thrilled with this. This also has a 3D mode, much like those uh, video games where you play the, you know, the guitar video games or whatnot. But uh, every time I play it on here, it crashes my computer. So, uh, well, it doesn't crash the computer, but the software crashes, I should say. So uh, I really don't find that one all too useful. And then, of course, my favorite notational software that I'm using right now, and I realize this is a little dated, but uh, this is uh, Guitar Pro 6, and it's the only one that is native to Linux. This does require a license to use this. I will note, however, that uh, I did download the Guitar Pro 7 uh, demonstration software and installed it through Wine, and it worked perfectly. Uh, but I do have a license for the version 6, so that's why I have this here. And what I really enjoy about this software is, uh, in addition to just opening, opening up uh, different forms of tablature, you can also compose uh, for several instruments, as with the other ones too, you can. But this has a nice sound font library as well, so you can um, have some much more natural tones. Uh, with your practice, um, which I which I kind of like, you know, um, you have the editing mode where you can choose all of your um, musical notations. And as stated, I haven't got to that point yet. I'm only using the software just so that I can play a uh, notation um, from from the uh, music courses that I'm taking online. And I haven't got to the point where I'm, I actually need notational software. And by the time I am ready for it, I'll tap into, you know, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that they already have notational software that listens to you while you play and 
automatically scores it for you and then you just need to go in and make some adjustments i'm sure sure some of these can actually do that i'm just not quite there yet so that's a separate video for when i finally do uh get into that uh you also have a bunch of different uh tunings that you can uh, specify on this as well and then of course you can define the sound banks uh that the instruments will have so you, you can do that. Uh, and then, of course, this has an effects rack as well. So now, now you have your sound fonts. Now you can add a distortion pedal if you want to. You can, um, you know, you can add a cabinet effects, equalization, and that sort of thing. There's the, the sky's the limit with this software. It's why I love it. Sometimes the proprietary software is the way to go. And then, of course, your equalization and uh, other features there. So, uh, Personally, this is my go-to software right here, but for the most part, uh, all of the applications that I've shown in the uh, video here, pretty much they all open uh, standard uh, guitar notation uh, formats. Um, and most, of, as stated, most of these are geared towards uh, the guitarist, whereas a uh, Muse score is... Uh, is uh, geared for uh, musicians in general. So regardless of what instrument you play, uh, pretty much uh, you can get a lot of out of this. And this is probably the better option because it is free and open sourced software. Tux Guitar, I really liked too. But with that one, you pretty much need the entire uh, uh, Java libraries and everything installed on your system, which can use up some space. But with hard drives being as they are nowadays, uh, that isn't much of a concern unless you're using a really small uh, SSD drive for your system like I am. So you don't want to have all these big programs eating up your hard drive space and that sort of thing. All right. Um, that's all I've got on this. Uh, my next video, I'm going to finally do... Uh, the Valentin GP100, which was uh, providing the sound on my guitar here uh, when I did the intro. I'm finally going to do a full review on that, and I'm also going to demonstrate the installation of the software in Wine. And I will also show you how to install some uh, cabinet uh, IRs, and uh, we'll even uh, install some crosstones uh, presets with that as well. So... It'll, it should be fun. Uh, the Valentin GP100 is uh, an awesome effects pedal for guitarists. And so I highly recommend that. In it. And out of the box, it's compatible with Linux. So it, it works. So awesome stuff. All right. So that's all there is for right now. A little bit of love goes a very long way. So please be sure to take some of your time and be excellent, be excellent with somebody today. Until next time, my friends, peace out. Mm -hmm.